All right, boys. Let's see what we have here today. Today we're going to talk about Cairo map layout and how the Cairo map is set up. I, I see what the developer tried to do to with coalitions. It's it was a pretty good idea, but that can can get really messy when you got two alliances in different coalition, two from the same server. For example, on ours, we only have one alliance from the two alliances from the same server. They are leg and br uh, br so being that they are from different coalitions they were forced from the beginning they didn't have a choice who their allies were they had to be allied with each other they had to be north group and west group so by doing that they line lock their line lock to those two locations um, for example from the beginning lead and rpk they could not fight, they couldn't do anything. Uh, same thing with uh, our alliance, D6 and uh, XF XFC. We were allies from the beginning, we didn't have a choice because you didn't want to put two alliance from the same server, BR and LEG fighting each other because they're from the same server, it doesn't make sense. I think if, if Lilith wants to do use this coalition, they should if you're going to put two alliances from the same server in the same map, you should put them in the same coalition. Uh, this will avoid problems. Uh, this will also help, sorry about that, uh, on the map layout. Because this map is set up, if you're going to do it, if you want to do a 2v2v2v2, two 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 two, or if you want to go a 4v4, you're going to have to divide it north and south versus east and west. Otherwise, two alliances, uh, Actually, four alliances are going to have friendly next to each other and not going to be able to fight at all. Now, let's look really quick at a few things. Um, the first problem I see is you really don't fight until four, probably three, four days into the game. Five days into the game. Uh, that's totally fine. Uh, but then when you get to fight, there's a lot of places where you can landlock the enemy. Uh, let's uh, look in a sample on our uh, on our on our map. Uh, from the beginning, or our allies X were able to push back Rebel. Um, they have a lot of locations where they can get choke points. Uh, they have a location right here, where if X got to there, they cannot pass anymore. Uh, they also have two locations one right here and one right here if x control those two points Revo cannot push any farther than that same thing with here the problem is uh i think five days into the game onto the event you're gonna have this locked and you're gonna have this lock so the lines cannot pass through there then in this X scenario, Revo could have pushed faster and I start doing choke points than what X would have. But also X could have choke point these two points and Revo would not be able to push any farther than that. And then X could push farther into all the, this other shock point right here and then block all this left side of the map completely away. Um, I think the, the, if you're going to line lock, lock alliances to an, ex, an area, you have to open a little bit more and more like uh, Moscow. Uh, same thing on this region down here. When this fort and this fort open, whoever gets either here or here first can line lock the other alliance. If xfc where it would be our enemy and they move fast enough to this point right here let's say our our team is offline when this opens sfc is online they move they put a cc here we're completely blocked to move in right side ever again we don't have another way to come in we're locked where in the other if this the way all the way around we could 
move fast enough and show point uh, right here actually. But we also have to cover this region right here, this little area right here. So XFC will have an advantage enough because they can have two ways to get into their center where we only have one. If you're going to have that option for them to enter and any of these two points, we should also have two points. It should be balanced to uh, both ways. Uh, same thing on this other side of the map. When the two forts opened, you got a uh, fort right here and a fort right here. Again, B, uh, BR could push far, far enough and lock the enemy right here. But then, or lock here and here. They have two access points to enter this way. Where uh, Rebo coming this way only has one entrance. So in that, that it has to be balanced. If you're going to be able to enter for two locations, the other side should be able to enter to two locations. Uh, this side is still the, is the same. They only have one access to this, uh, two accesses to the center, one through here, one through here, where this other side literally only has one access to that side of the map. Uh, so it should be balanced when two of them has two access, one, one area have two access, the other area should have two access. Now, when you get into the, this area right here, that should not be a problem for any of the alliances because your this location is by uh, this second circle is uh, open to, sorry, this second circle is open for the collisions only, so it shouldn't be a problem, that you, unless you find a new collision, which I don't recommend it, because you share rewards. Now, when you get into the inner circle, um, comes the other problem, at the block house. And let me show you all blocks out here, this block house, you can build pass by for three access points. You got one village, right? You can go through there. One village can go through there and another village can go through here. So technically three alliance, but then this and they say only two alliance uh, can get to it. So both alliance can build through it without having let dead land. Now let's look at the other block house. This block house is also going to have two accesses. One through here, one through here. So two alliance can build at the same time going through it and not having dead land. Uh, let's look at this other block house. There it is. Two do uh, have actually three accesses through it, but two alliance can pass through it, no problem at all. And they don't gonna be locking each other to come through. So two of them can build past that point and help. Now, if you go to this last one, you only have one. And the choke point is way smaller than the other one. So from the beginning, this alliance was on a disadvantage because they will not be able to build two of them at the same time. While, like in this case, they are uh, a team against us. Two of us can build really fast to them. Now, we will not be able to get to it because it's a choke point right here where uh, only one alliance can pass through. So this side of the map is kind of on a disadvantage because on this side, they can build. Both of them could have built all the way through here. One alliance can go through this road right here. The other one can go from the outside and they will both be able to get through here. This top alliance over here, they could have built both of them down this way without no problem. One could have go through the inside, one could have go through the outside. Uh, in this case right here, only one alliance can go through. And through here, one alliance can go through. And I, th I think to balance the, the map better, they should be the same. If you two alliances can build any direction this way, two alliances should be, built, be able to build any direction this way. Uh, I think if you are in uh, Cairo and you are on this side of the map, on the uh, west side of the map, I personally think is uh, you're at a lower disadvantage 
when the block has opened unless you can build fast enough to this bridge and block them from coming in or to the shock point. But at this shock point, you are at disadvantage again because two, two alliances can build to it, to that point, only one can build. Your friends will have to drop a CC, build it somewhere else and get closer or drive all the way from up here. Uh, let me see if I can take all those tags away now that they, they're not gonna go away. So yeah, and that, that's the problem with Cairo that I see right now is there's too many landlock. Uh, it's too easy to block each other. Uh, you should be able, this is this side is the worst side. Uh, then also in the center, and when you go to the center, there's only two access points. This one has one access point, actually. Uh, does they only have one? Yeah. One alliance can build in. Same thing with the other side. One alliance can build in. One alliance can build. Now, are they in a good location? Not really. Because this alliance is super close to it. They can lock it really quick, build around it and block it for accessing from this alliance to access it. And being that they have a friend up here with the same collision, them two can build up to here and block this access to the block half for this alliance. And they are super close. This block out over here, super close for this other uh, coalition right here. They could block it and two of them can go through. It's two alliance building to it fast enough. They can block this complete team to getting access to it because they're farther away. This team right here, this collision right here, are the farther away from those two than anybody else. So if this collision has enemies on the right and on the left, you pretty much, you're really hard. You're going to have to push hard to get to it. Uh, and that's the problem you're seeing. Now let's look, let's see if we can find a, a good battlefield to show when, let's see. I'm trying to see an uh, one that I saw early, a battlefield that I saw early, an epic battlefield. That's one six one. And yeah, one five two. Let's look at this one. This is the the monsters alliance, the biggest alliances uh mask uh cattle. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, and I'm pretty sure people will cover me, I think this one is set up uh, north and south versus east and west, uh, which is the best way to set it up. And, and to be honest, that's the only way to set it up because HBR and and top and the UN can fight right here from day four. Uh, Tier one and mass can fight from day one. Mass and uh, CF value can fight from day five. Uh, sorry, I keep saying day one. Then G27 and top can fight from day five. At the moment that the forts open, all alliance are active. All alliance can fight each other, have fun, and, and, and move forward and have a good fun event. Where if you go West and South or any other any other organization, you're gonna have about four alliances that, that they're not gonna be able to fight unless they do friendly battles. Uh, and then you also have the benches in here that when they get into these areas and they're gonna start uh, getting into the blockhouse, they're gonna be able to organize better because they are north south east west they they can fight but it's gonna be a lot better uh i don't i got the idea of coalitions but uh it's a hit or mess with a lot of alliances right now um there's a lot of downtime uh yes it's a lot of building to be done uh and that helps to kill sometime 
but still it's a lot of downtime that you don't really not doing anything other than farming and building uh, I think they should open two more locations to enter in the center they have three bridges in here uh, three lanes that you can call, pass by so I think they should put at least one more to enter in the center they should make this block house right here two alliance can build through uh, all the choke points if one alliance can go through two points the other alliance should be able to go through two points and so forth it should be balanced out to each one of them uh, safe zones looks pretty pretty close to the same uh, size wise in the safe zone is not much in what I can say about safe zones. Uh, another thing that is kind of annoying, it's a good idea, it was good, is all the structures, the new things that they put. I mean, you can you can get involved and in, in get something crazy like this, where you have so many structures you can set, you cannot set bases. Uh, you can block CCs, you can block uh, everything. You can do a lot of things with it. Now, something that a lot of people have not noticed, this uh, roadblocks, you can actually remove it, remove them with your trucks. Let's see, can I do this one? And uh, what do you lose? If you get caught, you lose 50 reserve because you lose a truck. Uh, but it's a lot better for losing 50 reserve on a truck than having your troops slow down and uh, get killed let's see where's that truck how fast you're you're gonna get there uh, it's gonna take a minute to get there i guess it's a long way to long walked through it but yeah for those that don't know you can uh, bl uh destroy those with uh, your farm trucks So that, that's my my little speech about the map. Uh, it's a huge map. Uh, it's a lot of stuff to get done. Uh, I like the, and overall, I like the ideal collision. Uh, the only few things I will change, if you're going to put two uh, alliance from the same server, put them on the same collision uh, so that there is no problems. If uh, I get that you have to balance power out, but at that point it doesn't matter because at that point those two alliances are going to end up being allies unless they don't like each other so at that point you're going to have four uh, alliance force to be playing together uh, so yeah um there's a lot of cc buildings and healing and burning in here going on that's fun it looks fun now let's let's be myself and let's see if we can Let's see some a little bit of action, see what our team is doing.
Man, bases don't like say anything now. Not nowadays with these modern units. One forty nine. Let's see how fast this one forty nine goes out. And as soon as Tanina is going to fire, it's going to go whoop, gun. Yeah. The bases don't last. They need to get a little bit more health buff. And I was about to say that looks like a glitch in the game because you see the units, the enemy units right there, but they're actually not there. Yeah, y y that's a new one. <laughs> I cannot attack because the fort blockhouse is closed. Huh. Interesting.
Alright, so as the game is lagging a little bit, I think that's gonna be me for me today. Uh, see you guys in the next one.